Hello guys, this is Reese from Bomberito St. Peter's Volkswagen in St. Louis. Today I'm bringing you a 2022 Volkswagen Tiguan SEL R-Line 4Motion. This particular one is Oryx White Pearl on the exterior with Titan Black Leather on the interior. It features those new LED headlights on the front, LED running lights, the new front facing camera embedded in the bumper there, the new front R-Line grille and bumper. The R-Line logo right there, the new version. These new 20-inch alloy wheels. These are exclusively for the R-Line SEL. And the new R-Line badging on the side mirror here. This one features body color paint below the chrome line there, just like the old R-Lines. Nice bowl line down the side into the door handles and into the top of the tail lights. Full quad exhaust tips on the back trimmed out in chrome, an oversized reflector, the Tiguan nameplate right here at the base of the new Volkswagen logo. It says SEL on the corner there. The new 4Motion logo as well. Silver roof rails, power folding mirrors. Very nice. And they've done similar to what's happening on the GTI. This little corner eye right here, or this kind of corner of the eye right here. And then the IQ light. These have adaptive front steering, park sensors as well on the front. Let's take a look inside. And before we hop in, we'll look at the door panels here. The door inset here, that premium stitch right there, the contrast stitching on the arm pad right here, and then the door, the power uh, mirrors, uh, power folding mirrors too, heated mirrors, one touch up, one touch down of course, power lift gate stays, and the R-Line scuff plate right here. Very nice. Three seat memory right here, and then your lumbar support forward and back and then your forward and back and up and down and then seat back adjust as well the seats are upholstered uh pretty much the same as they were last year they didn't change like the the lower trims the, the upholstered the angle changed but these remain the same but this is a heated and ventilated seat now a nice gray bead right down the seat here contrast stitching up in the the headrest here and then down the back of the seat as well and before I climb in here Here's a look at the seats. Again, heated and ventilated now. Five seats total. Uh, this one uh, does, the four motion units will have five seats. The all wheel, I'm sorry, the front wheel drive ones will have a third row seat, giving you seven seats. There's a look at those seats really close there. And as we climb in here, here's a look at what you got. The digital cockpit right here. Very nice. Navigation, all of that stuff will show up here. I'll change that in a minute where you can see that. It's a flat bottom leather wrapped steering wheel. It's also a heated steering wheel. Your heated icon is right here or your heated touch is right here. Um, you do have this sport grip, just like you do in the GTI and the Ardeon right here on these sides because it's an R-Line, it has that. Fender premium audio. Uh, you do have this wood grain effect here now on the, on the door panel here. Obviously it's still metallic, but it looks like wood grain there. Very nice touch there. Uh, your uh, blind spot detection is right here. You do have the same vent set up as you did before. No change there. There's four vents total all the way across. The wood grain continues over here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and set up this nav here. So there's your navigation screen there. You just hit this button here in the middle, the three lines for the menu, and display an instrument cluster. It takes it from here and brings it over here. So this is your dial screen. You also have your wide screen, and then you have your crop screen. Very nice setup there. I personally like the widescreen, so I'll do that. Um, on this steering wheel too, capacitive touch. I wasn't gonna skip over that. Cruise control setups right here. Travel assist is right here. Um, and then you also have this button on the side that activates lane assist or it brings up your menu for lane assist. You also have adaptive cruise control. I'll have to turn that on. Okay, so you have a choice between adaptive cruise control and regular cruise control. Side assist, which is that blind spot monitoring, and then rear traffic alert and front assist. And I can just tap this little button right here again. I turn that off, take it away, and now I'm back to, the, to my uh, map. I can also zoom in using these arrows right here. So I can zoom in or zoom out. Either way, just by touching the up or down arrow there. It takes a little bit to get used to because it's a little different. Um but it's what they're going with now. So you're gonna have it here and you're also gonna have it over here for your climate control. No more knobs here, three knobs are gone. So you have the blue button or the blue section here to, to lower your temperature or this side to, to raise your temperature here. Um, 
very nice and then you can also slide your finger across to adjust your fan speed so it's a little cold outside today it's 39 degrees it feels colder than that but we're just not used to it so um, I want to run the heater here you also have heated seats here and as I said ventilated seats which you can run at the same time they're also capacitive touch and they're multi-phase so you can turn them on and off just by touching tapping multiple times there um, the heated seats gonna feel good so I'm gonna leave that on um, the steering wheel as usual is a telescoping steering wheel pull out push in raise it lower it lock it wherever you need our line uh, icon right here with the piano black on it as well the three silver spokes uh, for the steering wheel are the same and the new Volkswagen logo in the middle up there there's a storage bin right there very nice nice flat dash lots of visibility here um, the camera on this car oh, put it in reverse here you do have trajectory steering you can turn the wheel left turn the wheel right the yellow line moves accordingly the red line stays put the green line signifies straight back um, you do also have App Connect, which allows you to do Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, or MirrorLink wirelessly on this car. And there's also wireless charging down here in this tray where your phone can sit down here in the case and charge in most cases. Uh, if you don't have a pop socket or maybe an outer box, you're going to be fine. You do also have two USB-C connections right here and a 12-volt charger port right there. Very nice. Uh, I do like the capacitive touch. It just takes a little bit to get used to it, but I do like that for the climate control right here. Uh, I'm not so sure how I feel about it on a steering wheel because I haven't really had to drive a car with it for an extended period. The ID4, the Golf R, and the GTI are going to have this as well, and the Tiguan SE R line will also have this. Over here in the glove box, there's a look inside the glove box. There's still a lot of space there. SD card holders right here. Your manuals are right there. Tire warranties are right there in that Ziploc bag. Uh, and then you do have a look here at that um, that stitch there. That premium stitch is very nice. And then you also have this guy right here on the seat here. To, again, heated and ventilated. Super comfortable there. The armrest right here is the same as it is in the Taos and the Jetta. It's nice and deep right here. It's not a huge amount, but you can store a tall boy can in here. A tall boy, not an alcoholic beverage. I'm not condoning dry, drinking and driving. I'm just saying a tall beverage of some, you know, a Monster Energy drink or whatever's tall. Those tall cans like Nas or something like that. Now, you do also have this key fob right here. This key fob hasn't changed. It's that nice slim design. It'll fit nice in your pocket. The uh, panic alarm right here on the side. Remote start is also right here. A little two times button there, and then your lock and unlock. And then you also have a power lift gate. That power lift gate, I can actually lift up from here and open that. So I can do contactless pickup, and then I can lift up and hold, and that guy will close. Now, you have to note, on a front-wheel drive Tiguan, you will not be able to close that from the driver's seat. Not sure why it's a little quirk of Volkswagen, but I'm sure it has to do with the transmission and the gear, the, the, the equipment needed in the back. This is your uh, uh, mirror right here, your rear view mirror. It's a home link mirror. This is a newer design. It still has a digital compass right there, but this one comes with four years of home link connect. Um, there's four buttons down here instead of three. So there's a three garage door buttons here and then a Bluetooth button there. And it's a little more oblong than it was before. It is auto dimming though vanity mirror with an led light on both both mirrors up here and then you do also have this giant panoramic sunroof with a power sunshade this guy opens up right here and stacks on top of that pane of glass there the sunshade goes all the way back you can stop it at any point uh, however it will only the sunroof will only open as far, or the sunshade will go only go back as far as the open sunroof does if you open the sunroof without opening the sunshade pop-up windscreen right here and it's a little chilly out there, so I'm going to go ahead and close that. Close that back up. But it is a tinted glass as well. Very nice setup here. It does come with Fender Audio, so if I put this on AM, FM, or satellite, you do have that right there in gesture control. I can wave my hand in front of that. And I got it to work two times out of three, three times out of four. Pretty cool. Um, the gesture control, anytime that hand shows up, it's active. Um, AM, FM, and satellite again. Uh, and then you do also have, if I go to menu, uh, an EQ that you can set up here, uh, mid, bass, and treble. You can change your position. So if you got a sleeping baby or something like that, you can move the speakers around so they're not affecting your child. Um, pretty nice. Let's take a look at the back seat. This one 
comes in, it's value priced at $38,885. $36,595 was the base MSRP. $395 for the Oryx White, Oryx White Pearl Paint. Uh, $355 for the Auto Dimming Mirror with Homelink Connect. $260 for the Monster Mats uh, and the Heavy Duty Trunk Liner. And $85 for the Roadside Assistance Kit, bringing you to $38,885. Considering these cars were 41,000 and some change last year, and you get more options on them this year than you did last year, I'd say that's a win. There's a look at that visible, that visibility out the front windshield there with that mirror, your instrument cluster right there, center console, armrest, and what have you there. You do have vents back here for your rear passengers as well. Another USB-C connection here, and a 12 volt charger port right there as well. Very nice, very comfortable. There's a look up at that giant panoramic sunroof. Comes back all the way over my head. You do have side lights on the side here. There's a piece of plastic hanging down right there. But you have side lights here as well on both sides. There's another piece of plastic there, but this car just got PDI'd. It won't be here long. It probably won't make it to the weekend. So uh, I wanna make a video of it before it's gone. The door insets have that same premium stitch here and here. Car seat hookups here and here and also over here. And then the armrest folds down right here. It's squishy yet firm. Manual headrest for all three seats back here. Uh, now these seats back here are not heated or ventilated. Neither way. Um, just so you're aware of that. Here's your uh, magazine pockets for the right here. Um, lots of leg room here. Lots of space. Lots of knee space here. Uh, I'm wearing boring socks today just so you know in case you're wondering. Um, but... Uh, Here's a, there's lots of leg room here. This is a super comfortable car. So if you don't need a huge Atlas to carry a bunch of people, the Tiguan is where you wanna be. Nice look at those wheels there. Again, it says SEL on the corner here, 4Motion over here, the new 4Motion logo there. Here's a look through from the back to the front. Look up at the sunroof, instrument cluster, center console right there, very nice. Lots of space back here in the back, and these seats will fold down. There's a seat pull on either side. Just like that, you just pull, and those seats you just push and click in place. Those seats are also steel reinforced, so in the event of a crash, anything that's back here in this cargo area will not penetrate that seat and injure people riding in that seat. There's your cargo blocks there, roadside assistance kit right here, and then your monster mats are here. And then beneath the floor here under the cargo protection system, here's your front plate. We only install that on request. This one has the privacy cover as well. And then below that, there's your quick release Fender, uh, Fender Audio uh, subwoofer right there and your sub. I'm sorry, your uh, spare tire. Back hook off to the side right here. 12 volt charger port right here. And you can have your privacy cover nest in there and it covers the seats with the seats up back here. Power lift gate right here. This car comes with a four-year, 50,000-mile bumper-to-bumper warranty on it from Volkswagen. That's four years, 50,000 miles, and includes two years of free maintenance. And if you buy from me at Bomarito St. Peter's here in St. Louis, remember, you can fly in and drive out. You can fly in and drive out. I will give you a third year of free maintenance as well. So your 10 and 20 and 30,000-mile oil changes are all covered. Also, if you buy from me at Bomarito St. Peter's, I'm going to give you a 10-year, 200,000 mile nationwide engine and powertrain warranty free of charge. 10 years, 200,000 miles nationwide. That's an engine and powertrain warranty. Almost a quarter million miles. So if you're interested in this car or one like it, give me a call. 636-290-4257. I can also order a car for you. Remember, you must fly in and drive out. You don't have to drive out. You can ship it out. And I'll pick you up from the airport and drop you back off. And we'll ship your car to your address. Give me a call, 636-290-4257. I'm on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter at Reese Sells Cars. Thanks a lot, guys. Stay safe, stay healthy, have a great day.